Hey everyone, so I'm here with Justin Blay, and he actually won the Bounce Showdown last year? In 09. 09, cool. So we just wanted to ask you a few questions. So when did you first know that you wanted to be a musician? Um, I actually first started uh, as a drummer, and I was drumming until high school, and then high school kind of always wanted to be a singer and just do it, but I was too shy and nervous. Um, and then after I graduated, I auditioned for the showdown, um, just for fun, and um, ended up winning it, so it was, it was pretty cool. So what was the, what, what did you feel like when you won the Bounce Showdown? Uh, it was overwhelming and like shocking. Um, it's, I don't know, it's cool when you go into a competition not expecting to win, just going for the opportunity and just to try out, um, and then ending up winning, it's, it's kind of surreal. Cool. So you had some kind of beautiful get picked up by Abercrombie and Fitch and get played around all their stores. And then you also had you and me picked up by a Disney TV movie, which is like Disney. What did that feel like? Um, that was pretty wicked. Like I was honored to hear that. And it's cool because like you work really hard in the studio for a couple of days and you work on a on song for an entire day. It's really hard work. But then you get a, a random phone call saying Abercrombie and Fitch wants to play your song. I got a call actually just probably like a month and a half ago. Um, I got a call from Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon actually just picked it up for a show called Winging It um, for my song Seven Days. Um, so that was also wicked because it's like three wicked opportunities that I really didn't do anything for. Like they just liked the song and it just worked out. So yeah, I was pretty, pretty honored to have that opportunity. So you also have recorded some French songs. So why is it important for you to keep that industry as part of your style? Um, well, for me, like I'm French, like it's my first language. Um, so I grew up in Edmonton speaking French. Uh, so I don't know. I think it's important, and I've I've always um, been involved in the community, French community. And there's so many francophones in Alberta that I figure like why not um, like write music and perform in French. So I basically for the majority of my shows I do 50/50, so 50 percent in French and the rest in English, um, which has been good because there's just so much support, like I said, for the French Albertans. So do you enjoy performing? Um, I do, yeah. Actually, I, I love recording more than anything, and then performing comes next. Um, it's actually cool. I have some really like exciting shows coming up with Simple Plan. I'm opening for Simple Plan uh, with Virgin Radio. Um, I'm doing Canada Day in Red Deer. I'm doing the Pride Parade. I'm doing Utopia Festival in Edmonton. Um, so I don't know, just really cool upcoming stuff. So pretty exciting. So if you had any tips for young Albertans who wanted to pursue a career in the music industry, what would you tell them? Um, I'd say, never say never, no I'm kidding, just Justin Bieber. Um, I would say, um, take the chance and, um, cause it, I don't know, it's risky. It's risky becoming an artist and you never know if you can make it or not. Um, but I think it's taking the chance to, to try. And even if, like, if you're nervous to sing or if you're nervous for anything at, anything at all, if you're, um, it's your first hockey game or whatever, at least go out and try cause you have nothing to lose but to try, right? And it's for the experience. If you're going to a singing competition or something, it's for the experience. You're not going there to win, right? If you do win, awesome, bonus. But I don't know. It's just more the experience and opportunity. Well, thank you very much. And everyone, go to justinblay.com. Thanks, guys.
If you don't know what I've been trying to say I'll tell you one more time I'm talking about it Between you and me, yeah. oh, I'm talking about us. Oh, I'm talking about. 